Well, for the third time in the short history of the Sanford Pentagon, there's going to be mixed martial arts tomorrow night. And David Martin is a smart man, the South Dakotan, who is a promoter and agent, knows it's been a huge success the first two times because of the numbers of local fighters who've jumped in the cage. I wanted to give some local fighters an opportunity to showcase their talents. You know, and Devin Clark's going to be making his third appearance in RFA. He's going to be on the televised portion now fighting for the first time in front of a national televised audience. Jordan Larson is the co-main event. So you're seeing these guys getting one step closer to their dream of making it in the UFC. And that to me was extremely important. Larson is uh, getting really close to uh, jump to the uh, UFC. And don't forget... It's a chance to see Webster's Logan Storley make his professional debut as well, and it's the USA against Brazil. Should be a fun time tomorrow night at the Pentagon. Well, they were hoping for a fun time tonight out at the birdcage. Canary's trying to avoid being swept by the lemurs. Lemurs get on the board first. In the first, Abel Nieves was very able here, knocking in J.D. Pulfer and Ty Morrison, and it's a 2 to nothing lead for the visitors. Canaries would cut the lead in half on Chris Grayson's Base hit, scoring R.J. Peruki from third base. That was in the third inning. But in the fourth, Peruki, who had the best night of anybody tonight, he had three hits and two RBIs. Here's his two ribbies, or one of them anyway, as Repco scores, and it's a 3-2 Laredo lead. But the Lemurs explode for four runs in the fifth inning, blowing the game wide open, and especially on this. Travis Denker with a two-run bomb to left. That made it 7-2. Birds will get one run in their final at bat. Final score, seven to three. They go to St. Paul tomorrow night. A couple of more scores for you. Ron Colley wins the Sioux Valley invite in boys golf. Gabe Heller was your medalist. In girls soccer, Watertown blanked Huron. Huron won the boys one to nothing. And how about this? Zach Zenner, 81 total yards tonight for the Detroit Lions. Caught five passes for 59 yards. Scored his first NFL touchdown. Also rushed four times. Congrats to uh, Zach Center tonight for the former South Dakota State standout. Well, it's hard to be disappointed with going 11-1 and in a football season unless you're the Sioux Falls Cougars who learned the hard way that that wasn't good enough to make the playoffs last year. The Coup held their annual media day at Bob Young Field this afternoon despite losing just one game at eventual national runner-up Mankato by 13 points last year. The Coup were the odd team out of the six-team Division II regional playoff field. USF says that uh, though they've moved on from the disappointment, they have not forgotten. I've gotten over it, but it's in the back of my mind still. I still think about it, man. I don't like to be left out. Um, I feel like we work hard just like everybody else in the country. And to be left out, um, it just kind of, it really, really got to us. kind of made our thinking think a little bit like, you know, um, instead of, you know, getting through, stumbling through a year and hoping that, you know, somebody can, can and vote, vote our way into the playoffs, then the best thing we can do is just go 1-0 and each week and, and take care of business. Got over it, but, I mean, it's still in the back of my mind and all of our minds, actually. And, you know, we use that as a little bit of a fuel to get through this uh, season here, and we know what we got to do this year. Today was also the debut of USF's brand new field turf at the Bob. The Cougars practiced on it for the first time after spending the last few weeks at Harrisburg while it was being installed. The Coyotes of USD are gearing up for their season opener with Kansas State, and nobody is more anxious for a much improved record uh, than head coach Joe Glenn, who played his college football uh, in Vermilion. Totally understand that, that winning is the name of the game, but we're a lot closer than we were a year ago. Um, there's some circumstances a year ago that took us out of our season, namely injuries, um, way too many injuries to keep people. So um, if we can stay healthy, uh, we'll be in a lot of games. And that's what I want for this team. The Coyotes just haven't been able to keep their playmakers on the field the last couple of years. Joe Glenn is hoping for better fortune when it comes to injuries this coming year. And by the way, the Twins in a game that was delayed two and a half hours by rain are winning in Baltimore, seven to nothing in the seventh inning. Sano has hit another home run. We'll be right back.